Kia ora te whanau, mama di up in the whare anō. So today is day 19 out of 28 of my cap juicing. And um, most of you know that yesterday we buried my moko. My dad had his heart operation. My father-in-law, my former father-in-law over in Rarotonga is unwell. And today, what you might not know, is that today was my last day of mahi. Um, I worked for Calder and Lawson for just over a month now. Oh, just under a month. Working the COVID info line. Loved the job. The environment was amazing because it was my fuddy. But um, my supervisors and my people leaders, so that was Bex, Nikki and Pearlie, were just freaking amazing. Especially Nikki and, and Bex through this period of time. Um, they've been very understanding and very empathetic to my needs and what's been going on in my whānau. And then today I went to work. And I really tried hard to stay at work, but I was having some issues. And so I worked only part way through the day. And then um, they allowed me to finish. So I didn't even finish my full term today. Um, but I just wanted to shout out to Kordo and Lawson, how amazing they are as... Um, employers and how well they look after their employees so thank you um, so anyway today has been really kicked back I thought well if I'm not going to do work I might as well tidy up my house because I let that you know slide and that didn't happen either so my washing's still in the washing machine. <laughs> I've still got some dishes to do. And I haven't vacuumed my floor. This week I didn't even do my toilet or my bathroom. Shocking, shocking, shocking. Anyway. And I haven't swept out the front. You'd think I would because it's right there, but I haven't. Anywho. Um... So this is today 19, cap juicing, so if you, this is your first time watching, um, cap juice, which I nicknamed it cap juice because I couldn't remember the ingredients properly, was one carrot, one apple, one potato, and you juice it, no pulp, no added water, no added to anything, and um, so Sue... Auntie Sue, who who has me on this juice, um, it encouraged me to do it twice a day. And, well, I like to try and do things a little differently. Anyway, so I double up the ingredients and I have it all at once. And she hasn't told me that's not okay, so I just carried on. So this is two of everything. Um, yeah, today it's green apple, so I'm not very, not really partial to the green apple part. Um, I've got red apples, but I'm, I've only got a couple more green apples to go, I just might stew those instead. Anyhow, cheers to you all at Calder and Lawson, day 19 of 28. And just want to put a big shout out to Tania to get up because she's the one who opened the doors for me to be able to get this um, mahi opportunity. So I thank you. Uh, the experience has been amazing. It really has. Um, and I'm just happy that we were put into the same um, 
work group. <laughs> that was pretty uh, on it. Pretty cool. Um, so, yep. Let's finish this. Down the hatch, guys. Now, some of you may be thinking, why aren't I crying and being more upset because my mocker boys passed away. I tell you why. Because my gospel teachings and my spiritual teachings have given me the foundation that I know where he is. And I have no doubt in my mind that he is cradled in the arms of our Saviour and that the angels are looking down upon him and they're uplifting him. And they're giving him strength to give his parents strength so that they can understand and they know where he is and they can attain the same, they can get back to him um, through their own good works here on earth. Hence the reason I've got more bags under my eyes because I do have my tonguey um, and and I've heard from several of my friends who have also gone through this with their families. And to you, I um, I thank you for sharing. Um, back to my cap juice. Um, as you can see, my eyes are a lot, lot clearer. And I don't feel so blah. Um, and... Uh, when I get brave enough to show you my legs, because my legs look quite ugly these days, and I'm really embarrassed by them, and so I feel quite vulnerable if I show you my legs, because anyway, they are way better than they used to be. Um, my kids can tell you, or my friends can tell you. Um... The next thing I'm trying to do is move, move more. Um, I used to dance quite a lot, and I'm very, I was very active. Even though I'm a big person, I was very active. I don't like sitting still for too long. But these last couple of years um, has taken it right out of me. I just also wanted to shout out to Nix from CWK because... When I came onto Facebook this morning, she had just finished doing the campaign. Um, oh, I can't remember what it was about. I can't remember the name of the campaign, Aroha Mai, but it was about those who have lost children. Because Nix also lost a child, um, I think it was in September. And I wanted to shout out to... Um, oh... Jay, um, she's Hawaiian, um, she also lost a child this year and she shared her story as well. So those are very vulnerable situations um, for, for people who have amazing platforms. Um, so uh, take comfort and if you're going through this loss of child yourselves um ka aroha, and i hope that you take comfort in knowing that there is a greater plan for your little one that they came to this earth they gained their body and they've gone back to their heavenly father and they'll be waiting for you on the other side and that they won't leave you they'll always be watching over us I feel my own son Malachi, he's up there um, watching over me. Sometimes I can hear his little voice. I know that sounds duro, but I can. And he kicks my butt sometimes. So, um, yeah, I, I, I really hope that you take comfort in the greater plan. And know that there is life here for you. And that 
you can embrace life and don't feel guilty about living life because they would want you to be happy. They would not want us to be sad. Okay? So, yeah. And this has taken me a long time for myself because I lost my little one and he was six and a half months um, in vitro. And when he was born, um, I didn't even get to see him. I didn't get to hold him or nothing. Um, he was too f deformed and they took him away. And I don't know what happened to him. So um, that was my mind in my heart for many years. Um and yeah and when I, when that happened to me I didn't know how to deal with it and I shut out my my partner at the time I shut him out um, I didn't want to have anything to do with him because I felt guilty that I was the one that um, couldn't couldn't hold on to our child but in the great in the grander scheme of things I've learned to embrace that he is, he did come here to do what he needed to do. Gain a body and then go back to Heavenly Father. Our little ones are too pure for this world. Um, and they have a bigger mission. So, if you're still listening to me, well, kia ora, thank you. And um, like I, yeah, and I'll just finish here because I can ramble on all night long about this um, but just hold on a sec and I just want to share this little um, quote that was sent to me by a friend of mine today the death of a loved one may come unexpectedly it is the witness from the Holy Ghost of the reality of a loving Heavenly Father and a resurrected Saviour that gives us hope and comfort at the loss of a loved one. Henry B. Eyring. So I just wanted to share that with you. And if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. And make a change where you need to or you feel you need to. And I love you all. Mama D out. See you later.